super excited because we are now at the BMW booth and I have here with me Oliver who is the head of interior design of BMW and he's going to talk us through a bit about the car and the concept of this BMW 9 series. Yeah. So, so, thank you very much. Um, I think uh, what we did with this car is uh, to talk about future luxury. What means future luxury for us? And um, overall, there are two um, main, let's say, main uh, words. It's um, position, uh, precision and poetry. So both main themes are we connecting together, which might be at first glance uh, a struggling difference, but they match perfect together. And this is what we, uh, we expressed with this concept here. Precise lines, precise details, but really high emotional surfaces in the exterior and uh, as well in the interior. Well, is there any specific highlights of the design that you personally like? Um, Actually, I like the, the, the overall sculpture, honestly, but what uh, something special is that everything we did um, has a certain function. For example, the headlights, really narrow, um, which shows the, the high-end technology of LED technology, uh, laser light, sorry, laser light. So, um, then a feature, what you, what you can see from here is, um, the, you see the air breather, which is a part of the design, which is a part of this, this, this whole process. Um, something special which we are really proud of is the connection between exterior and interior. And if you see the structure in carbon fiber, which is in a luxury segment, it's totally new. Um, the structure is growing into the seat, mm, yes. so it's a part of the seat structure. So what we did is there is not a normal connection, a normal uh, interruption between exterior and interior. It's one fluid surface. That's right. And it's both. It's design and it's function. So the car is really stiff. We can do this kind of door opening, you say suicide doors, but it's still stiffer than, uh, than a normal car. Right, this, right. Uh, it looks really luxurious too. Yeah. Um, this was another... Um, Let's say by the names, poetry, poetry and precision, we said, okay, let's get rid of as many buttons as possible. Okay. Um, let's, let's get rid of as many shut lines as possible. If there is a shut line, it should be really precise. Um, so um, our mental model behind that was to um, kind of mill out of a, a, a mono volume, mill out any, any different surface. So in the first step you're milling, they're coming out of the wood. The next step is maybe this high-end piece here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the next right. step is the, are the information displays. And um, that's a further um, step ahead for us from our point of view. Um, is that was happening in the, in the screens. User interface is different. Um, and we think in the future, a big part of luxury happens in a virtual world, mm, not true. just only in a material. Material will be something which is, for us, as premium. It's something normal, let's say. Everyone would expect that from us. What you don't expect at the moment is that um, there's so much convenience in the, in the user interface you can play with. True. And that is the next step for us. We were talking about a communication system, which is the next step. Maybe you remember the vision um, connected drive this is the next step of it it's communicating with, right. the, with outside we have uh, on the left side of the instrument cluster we have this concierge service which means um, traffic light assistance yep. so you see how long the traffic light is still red right, right. we have autonomous driving <laughs> we have any suspension uh, features in this uh, so this is some something which is just for the driver mm -hmm. just for him safety for the reasons pleasure of the things driver. like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the instrument cluster for sure, basic information, and we have a really huge, uh, big uh, head-up display with, which uh, has an analogy towards the surrounding. So it's as huge that it could reach a traffic light, for example. You see the screen is starting up now, you see the, the connection between all over those screens. It's one theme which is, which is running through. Uh, and we are to, everything you see there is created in 3D. So there are 3D parts behind right. them. It's not a JPEG anymore. Mm. It's built in 3D. For that reason, we are totally. Uh, we could do everything we want to do with those surfaces here. Yeah. 
if you see now, um, there is an impulse coming in uh, from, I think it's um, the information. You see what's, what's ah, happening there. I see, yes, yes. You can reach that really, really good. There's okay. an information about, okay, you cannot uh, drive far faster than that what you see here. Right, right. Wow, that's really uh, awesome. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, behind that first glance, mm -hmm. um, which is important for us as well to make this experience. Now what you see is the traffic light assistant. Mm -hmm. It's counting. In the head up display, you're seeing uh, what you can see now. Yes. You see, okay, it's green now, and you start driving oh, okay. again. Okay. Right. In the center display, in the CID, we have uh, the, the main stage, let's say this way, where you can switch the content from from behind, mm -hmm. somewhere behind, towards your front. Oh. And you can, you can choose whatever you want to have there. But what you see is, the information is really let's say condensed, really reduced to that yeah. what's important. What is important, what's what pertinent to you. Yeah. Not everything yeah. at every time. Mm -hmm. Now you see the content of autonomous driving and it's coming back now to normal. Right. So okay. its appearance is I changing. Think, yeah. Yeah. Oh. The passenger has a narrow wide display mm -hmm. and what we did is um, there is coming in then an, an information from, from your driving to the opera, mm -hmm. this was the story we were telling. <laughs> Uh, while driving to the opera, there's coming an information from um, outside from mm -hmm. the opera. You get a ticket. Mm -hmm. the ticket comes into the car by information. You swipe it towards the passenger. The passenger mm -hmm. sees, sees where you're sitting, if everything is prepared there. Okay. The rear passenger could get more information about opera. We're talking about the Tosca from Puccini. Right. Uh, where you can get something. You see it, you see it from here. Mm -hmm. Re recommendations for the for the meal in between. Yeah. Yes, you see, yes. oh, you see okay. the, 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 the remaining uh, right. dr time driving, things like that. Then you know, I will never get out of this car. So. <laughs> That's what you want. It's the journey and the destination that counts. It's right? actually. Yeah. Um, imagine, mm -hmm. uh, most of us are spending more and more time in a car. That's so what, yeah. what do we need to do with the time? Mm -hmm. Normally, you should do something which you want to do, right? It's, a, yes, it's business, yes, it is, right. it's, it's recreation. Mm -hmm. We should talk about recreation. Sometimes, for many of us as managers, it's the only it's the only place where you can. You spend a lot more time in the car, right? Transporting from one down. one meeting to another meeting. Exactly. That's right. That's right. And this is important for us. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. Yes. Place. This may be a lot, a little bit more than two minutes. Sorry. <laughs> but it's great. Yeah. Thank you so much for the information, Oliver. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.